How's it going everyone? Just wanted to come out and uh, do a quick review on uh, a particular tool that I use all the time. It's uh, one of my go-to uh, pieces of equipment when it comes to coming out and clearing trails, uh, cr cutting brush, uh, cutting cedar. Anyways, this thing is uh, invaluable to me. Um, literally is my favorite tool uh, for this kind of work. Um, before I had the uh, brush axe, I just used a small axe, clearing axe like this, kind of a short handled. And this thing is by far superior to anything uh, the, to the axe. I mean for a lot of reasons. The axe is a lot heavier. Um, the axe is a lot harder to, to swing with one hand. Um, and frankly, the... Uh, don't mind the dogs. They're just out here with me today, as usual. Um, the brush axe actually does a better job at cutting through, um, you know, saplings, branches, you know, whether it be green or hard. It actually chops better, and uh, you know you can research that and figure it out. I, I, it has something to do with head speed, right? Like how actually fast you can swing the tool. Um, you can swing the uh, the, br the brush axe a lot faster than you can the uh, the actual axe, at least with one hand, and uh, so it actually cuts better because of that. Um, and it's lighter, so you don't get tired as fast. Um, it has just I find it's just superior over the uh, the axe for the kind of work I do um, You know and this is not you can see this is not a brand new tool that I just went out and bought You know, that's one of my pet peeves when it comes to YouTube reviews You know guys go out and buy a brand new thing, you know They try it for five minutes and then they're like, oh, yeah, it's a piece of crap or it's cheap or whatever. I've been using this for, I would say, going on three years. Um, it was, I believe, at Canadian Tire right now, it's $34.99. And you know what? I looked at this thing for a couple of years and uh, just hemmed and hawed over buying it, and I regret that. I should have bought it a long time ago. And there's other reviews on YouTube that says this thing's a piece of crap. It is held up, you know, fantastically. Um, you know almost three years of using it. I haven't even sharpened it yet You know and I chop through dirt roots You know everything um, You know I kind of bought this to be kind of an expendable sort of throwaway tool You know chopping through the ground if you hit a rock or something You know what it still cuts you know almost as good as it did the day I bought it You know the paints kind of chipping off the handle a bit um, That's about about it you know um, so I put a lanyard on it. I'd recommend that. Definitely get a lanyard on there. It's great for hanging it on branches so you don't lose it in the bush, but it's also nice to put around your wrist so it doesn't go flying. But, uh, you know, frankly, it's, it's a great tool. Um, you know, my only complaint is the, uh, the, the case that comes with it. They give you this, like, plastic, I don't know what the hell it's for, blade guard or... Whatever it would have been better if it came with like a like a nylon type of scabbard or something. I think, at least for me, that would have been better. But I mean, honestly, that's my only complaint with this tool. Okay, there you have it. That's my review of the uh, Fisker's brush axe. Um, I like I said, I highly recommend picking up one of these. Um, it's one of my favorite tools. As always. Uh, if you want to see more videos from the Woods Farm, uh, please like and subscribe.